everyone from Bahrain. I'm Umaima, and as you probably know by now, I'll be your host of the Did You Know and Newsworthy segment of the Entrepreneur Empowerment Series. We use these segments to share useful insights and news that we hope will help you spot opportunities for your business. This week, our session focuses on funding. And before I go ahead, I'm going to test your knowledge on the topic. Do you know how much investment was made in the first three months of 2021 in the Middle East and North Africa region? Well, despite the challenges of the pandemic, startups in the MENA region raised $277 million, according to Magnet's Quarter 1 2020 MENA Venture Investment Report. Philip Bahoshi, Magnet's founder and CEO, stated that investment rounds across MENA tend to take on average six months to come to fruition. So make sure that you take that into account when raising funding. Impact investment, as well as investments into AI-led businesses, have been very healthy all over the world. We will shed more light on different investment areas in upcoming sessions, but for today, I will share with you some insights about investments into financial technology companies or fintechs. But before that, here's a question. Do you know how much investment was made in the first three months of 2021 in fintech businesses? Quarter one of 2021 was the largest and most active quarter ever for fintech financing activity with over $29 billion in volume across more than 750 transactions, according to financial technology partners. As you can see in the slide, the active investments happened across all geographies with North America taking the lead. Most of the investments went to banking and lending technology initiatives. As such, we will be seeing many digital banks and new payment methods coming up over the next period. Finally, SMEs are li less likely to be able to obtain bank loans than large firms. Instead, they rely on internal funds or cash from friends and family to launch and initially run their businesses. The International Finance Corporation, IFC, estimates that 65 million firms or over or 40% of formal, micro, small, and medium enterprises, MSMEs in developing countries, have an unmet financing need of $5.2 trillion every year, which is equivalent to 1.4 times the current level of the global MSME lending. East Asia and Pacific accounts for the largest share at 46% of the total global finance gap and is followed by Latin America, the Caribbean, Europe, and Central Asia. You would be happy to know that we are working with governments and international organizations around the world to highlight the various financing opportunities available to you in various markets. Over the coming months, we'll be adding those resources to the platform. So here's a question for you. What are your financing and funding plans? Is it one of your top priorities? If you haven't registered already, sign up to the free SME Empowerment Platform on Potential.com slash SME to make use of the free resources, expertise, and special offers to help you prepare for your funding or financing round. That's it for my end for this week, and I look forward to seeing you all next time. Thank you.